Greetings fellow programmers, uh, my name is Pavel and I'm here with another C Sharp programming homework and this time we are to write a program that generates 1000 random numbers between 0 and 100,000. Display the number of odd values generated as well as the smallest and largest of values. Output should be displayed in Windows message box. So, we are to generate 1000 numbers between 0 and 100,000, 100, but we will count only the odd numbers and we will also display the smallest and the largest of those numbers. So, we will discard all the uh, even numbers. Alright, so uh, this is exercise about loops because if you want to generate thousand numbers uh, then best way to do it is uh, using a loop. So let's do our variables first. First we need an integer max because we need to get the largest number. So these all will be integers so max can be an integer as well. And we can instantiate it to zero and I will explain why in just a minute because now we need also the integer for the smallest number so min and this one we can instantiate to hundred thousand now the reason for that is because we will need to be comparing each of these thousand numbers with the current value of the largest and smallest so we start with max with zero and then we will simply ask, okay, is the next number greater than the current value of max? And the chances are it will be. Uh, it won't be zero. And um, that will become our new max number. Then in the next iteration of the loop, we will ask the same. Is this number greater than our current value of max? And if it is, then we will assign max that value. And similarly, if for our uh, smallest number, we will be asking in the first iteration, is this number less than 100,000? And I can choose 100,000 because that's the top. It's the maximum that we are going to be generating. And the chances are, again, it will be uh, less than 100,000, and it will become our new min num uh, variable. And in the next iteration, we will ask, okay, is this number less than min and if it is then it will be assigned and at the end of the loop min will simply hold the smallest number from uh, all the thousand numbers generated and max will hold the highest number of the uh, all thousand numbers generated next uh, we need an integer I call it random number and this will be the number that is randomly generated. We don't have to in initialize it to anything because it will be, uh, we will need to get the random number within uh, each iteration of the loop. And we need to count, we, we have to display the number of odd values generated. So we need a counter that will count how many odd numbers were generated. And I initialize it to zero. Uh, at the beginning because uh, well let me just not initialize it to anything and you will see why it needs to be initialized a little later okay so this is our these are our variables and we need one more and that's going to be our class of random so our random I'll just call it rand equals new random so now we have a variable called rand of type random and now we can uh, use rand to generate uh, random numbers or in our case uh, random integers okay now let's do the loop so it's gonna be a for loop for integer i equals zero this is the standard i is less than we are to generate 1000 numbers and i plus plus 
All right, so um, that's our loop that we loop thousand times, generate thousand uh, numbers, but we are only to going to count the odd numbers and we will um, assign the values to our max and min. So let's generate our random number. So random number equals rand dot next and it returns a non-negative random integer but we need to uh we need to uh generate numbers between zero and a hundred thousand so our minimum will be zero that's inclusive and hundred thousand hundred thousand would be the top however 100,000 is exclusive, meaning it would only be uh, 99,999. So in order to generate 100,000 or include 100,000, we need to do it to 100,001. So that's a random number. And now we can compare that number uh, or make sure if it's, or uh, find out if it's a odd number. And to do that, we will do a simple if statement. If our random number and the mod of two, if in other words, if this is if the number is uh, divisible by two, and there is no leftover, so to speak, uh, if uh, then this is this is uh, in this case, if there is a leftover, in other words, if it's not a if it doesn't equal to zero, then it's a, a odd number because every even number can be divided by two, uh, but uh, not odd numbers. I mean, they can be divided uh, by two, but they will be decimals, so they won't equal to zero. So in this case, we have our odd number, and now we can increase our counter plus plus. And over here, you can already see that the use of unassigned local variable counter. We are increasing the counter, but it doesn't say, all right, uh, what are you increasing it from? So that's why I had it here, our counter equals zero as the initial value. And in our first number, it will be increased by one. So our first number will increase the counter to one, second number to two, and so forth. So that's our counter, and now we can do the max and min. And I'm going to use an if statement, but in a form of so-called ternary operator. So let me just uh, write it, and I'll explain the syntax. Uh, so max equals, and here we will ask, is random number greater than our current max? And if it is, then we have a new max, so we will assign the random number to it. And if it's not greater than max, then max remains uh, the same. So max will equal our current max. And similarly, we'll do the minimum or the min is the random number less than our current minimum. And if it is, then our minimum will be now new random number or whatever was generated. And if it's not, then it will remain the same. Okay, so let me, let me, so this is how you basically can read it. Is random number that we are generated here between zero and a hundred thousand, if the generated number, and we already know it's an odd number because it's in our if statement within the, uh, if it was even number, this would not be true, and this whole block would be skipped. So it's, we already know it's an odd number, so we increase the counter, and we ask, is that number greater than our max? If it is, then assign random number, the value of it, to our max. We have our new uh, max. We have This number is greater than our current max, so max equals our random number. And if it's not, then remain max or leave max the way it is so max will equal to max 
And similarly, in min, 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 we will ask, is random number that we generated less than our current min? If it is, then assign random number value to our min. If it is not, then our min will equal whatever value it holds. Min will equal to min. All right, so uh, that's that. Now, after the loop, we, uh, we have uh, all our uh, odd numbers generated counted and we have our max and our min so after our for loop we can now display the message box they want us to display this in our in a message box so here's what's gonna happen though message box dot show and i get the, all these squiggly lines because i need to add system windows forms using System dot windows dot, but I don't have forms. Hmm. I know that it's supposed to be system windows dot forms, and um, the reason why it's not there is because we need to go to our. I'll just pull this. We need to go to our references and add reference. And we have to add our reference to Windows uh, System Windows Forms. And here it is, System Windows Forms. And see, there's a checkbox that's not checked, so we don't have that in our references. I'm going to check that and click OK. And it, it should show, and it does right here, System Windows uh, Forms is now in our references. And now I can use the message box. This is not a squiggly uh, red line anymore because now it C sharp recognizes it. It's part of the of the program. You can use that uh, library now. So message box show, and we will display our max number, min number, and uh, the total numbers that we generated. So the first will be max number and the max number was is now stored in a max variable and on a new line so I will do plus and I will add a new line so over here I will uh, add on the new line I will add min number and it will equal the min and again I will add a new line and finally I will do a uh, total number numbers generated and I will add the counter that holds the number of odd numbers that we generated. All right, so that's our message box, but in it I will also add over here you can see the text to display in the message box, so basically the header of it and I'll just display it as a final results that's gonna be the name of the message box if I add comma I can add the text to display in the title bar of the message box so th that's what the uh, the final results will be and it will uh, also need uh, we will do message box buttons and we will add OK button only OK, we don't have to cancel or anything or delete anything. You know how you have sometimes OK and cancel or OK and delete or all these buttons. This time we will have only OK and we will do our message box icon will be asterisk. The message box contains a symbol consisting of lowercase letter I in a circle. So that's what we'll do. And that's our formatted output in a message box. So let me run it. I'll run it and see if everything loads OK. And here's our message box. We don't do anything with the in the console. Everything is output here. So max number that uh, odd number that we generated is 99,953 9, and the min number is 71 and they're both odd so that's correct. And we generated 486 odd numbers. 
which is correct. I mean, we are doing random numbers. So statistically, half of them should be, uh, about half of them should be odd and half of them should be even. So this is very close. So that's, uh, it seems like program is working quite well. Let me try it one more time. So we get different results. And um, this time the min number was uh, 655 and max number 99,985. Again, these are odd numbers, so it seems to be generating only odd numbers like it's supposed to. And again, we generated 490, which is almost half, so that seems to be correct. And one more try just because. And again, odd numbers, very close to half. So yeah, I think our program is working just fine. All right, so um, again, we have our variables. We assign min 100,000 because that's the max that we are generating. Uh, and um, we are going downwards. We are comparing if this is number is less than that, our first number will be. And then we will be simply comparing our every consecutive number after that to our random number, uh, our random number to our min and max the variables. Over here we are generating the uh, odd numbers only. Over here we are generating a random number uh, between 0 and 100,000. And here we are increasing our counter, assigning the max value if the random number is greater than max, then our max value will be that random number. If our random number is less than our current min number, it will be min number will become the random number value. So and then we will output it all in message box and format it all in new lines. All right, so I hope this was helpful. If it was, please leave a like, share with your friends, leave a comment, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.